Alistair Corsi here. 2025. Let's smash that number and see what it's made from. So to smash a number like 2025, we'll need to produce the famous factor hammer. And here it is. So let's try and smash it with this hammer. Whoops, and there we go. 2581. This must mean that 25 times 81 gives us 2025. Let's check that. If we have four 25s, we get 100. So eight 25s will be 200. So 80 25s will be 2,000. And then another 25, that's 81 25s, will give us 2025. So 25 times 81 does give us 2025. Well, let's try and smash 25 this time. Well, there we go, 5 times 5. Let's now try it on the 5. Oh, that's just not working. Now, why is that? What's gone wrong? Well, we've finally reached bedrock. 5 is unsmashable. It's a prime number. It's no factors of the other than 1 and itself. And it's prime numbers that we're looking for to see what 2025 is built from. Now let's try the 81. 9 times 9. Let's try the 9. 3 times 3. And let's try it on the 3. Oh, not working. There's another prime. Three threes are nine. So let's try it on the other nine. And there we are. That's us done. We've found all the ingredients of 2025. So it's made from four threes and two fives. So having used the factor hammer to smash 2025 up, let's find out what we've discovered. We now know that 2025 has ingredients, that's the basic prime numbers that make it up, four threes and two fives all multiplied together. So we've discovered what's called the prime factorization of the number 2025. It's three to the power of four, there's four threes multiplied together, and five to the power two. It's two fives multiplied together. So there's the prime factorization of 2025. Now there's another route we can take to discover another fact about 2025, and that is that these factors, though they're what uniquely makes up the number 2025, the order of multiplying these does not matter. And we'll notice there's four threes, an even number of threes, two fives, an even number of fives. So let's take half the threes and group them, and half the fives. So there's this group of three factors, and the other half of the factors grouped together. And this is where it gets quite interesting. Three threes are nine, nine fives are 45. Grouping them this way, we can see that 2025 is 45 squared. So 2025 is a square number. It's the square of 45. And this leads us to a rather interesting development. That's where things get rather exciting because 45 is a very special number. It's a triangular number. Now what do I mean by a triangular number? Well let me explain that. I'll use some diagrams for this. So let's start with the number 1. Here's a square with a 1 in it. It doesn't look like a triangular number, but it is the first triangular number. Now let's add two squares. 3 is the second triangular number. And then adding another 3 squares. 6, that's the third triangular number. Let's add another 4 squares. 
got 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, 10 is the fourth triangular number. Adding five more numbers, we get 15 as the fifth triangular number. Another 6, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 gives us 21. That's the sixth triangular number. Add another 7 numbers, we get to 28, the seventh triangular number. Another 8, and there's the eighth triangular number being 36. And finally, another 9 numbers added, and we've got 45 being the ninth triangular number. And you notice counting up all the squares to make 45, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7, plus 8, plus 9. And that total comes to 45. So here's another remarkable statement about the year 2025. Remember it was 45 squared. So 2025 is 45 squared, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 all squared. Another amazing fact about 2025. OK, so now let's look at a representation of 2025. Here's 45 rows of 45 squares. Well, I'm saying that's a square with 2025 squares in it. Let's check it, because we know 45 is 1 plus 2 all the way up to plus 9. Top right hand corner, there's 1 plus 2. I'll put it on the diagonal so that we can check both dimensions at the same time. Plus 3, there's a square of side 3. And here's a 4 squared. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. There's a 5 square. A square of side 6. A square of side 7. A square of side 8. And finally, a square of side 9 fits perfectly. 1 plus 2 all the way up to plus 9. Each of the dimensions of this grid is 45. So let's now focus on the top right of this diagram and concentrate on the green square. Do you see that to the right of the green square there's room for another one? And above it there's room for another green square. That doesn't happen with the yellow square. And I don't think you'll get complete squares with the blue square. You might get one in each side and above, but not a full square. So let's put these two green squares in. And I think it might work with the purple square. We'll get two purple squares to the right, two purple squares above. But certainly not the blue and the yellow. We won't get full squares there. So what have we got? We've now got three, three squares. Let's write that in. And we said maybe the purple one would work. That's a five squared. So let's see if we can put in full squares to the right and above the purple square. And we certainly can get them in. So there's five lots of five squared in there. And with that success under our belts, we move on to the seven squares that we can get in for the seven squared. And let's do that for the nine squared. There's nine of these. So what's next? Well, it's annoying that that yellow square didn't fit in to that pattern. Um, I suppose, well, how many squares are in that yellow square? There's four. And we have four squares to the right and above. There is a yellow square, but it's been chopped in half. And if we look at the blue square, we can imagine one to the right and one above. And yes, there would be a half of a blue square to the right and a half of a blue square left above. So we are going to manage 
to make a bit of a pattern here. Now, this one, one squared at the top, let's not forget that. It's easy to forget it. It's just sitting in there. So let's write that down. There's one, one squared at the top. So the two, two squareds, remember there was a couple of halves of that. And then let's go to the four squared. There's a three whole ones and a couple of halves. So that gives us four, four squareds. And the dark blue, six squareds. One, two, three, four, five, and two halves. There's six lots of six squared. And the green squares, if we count them up, we'll get seven of them and a couple of halves. So that's eight lots of eight squared. Now look at one times one squared. That's this one cubed. Two times two squared is written as two cubed. Three times three squared is three cubed. And you can see that we're getting all the cubed numbers from 1 up to 9. And remember that this huge diagram had 2,025 little squares in it and it seems to be covered by all these squares. So the total of all these 9 cubes must be 2,025. And here we have then another remarkable fact about 2025, 2025. It's the sum of the first nine cubes. Quite astonishing. Now this result about 2025 only works because it's the square of a triangular number, 45. And 45 is a triangular number, the ninth triangular number, because it's the sum of the first nine whole numbers. So the result we're looking at is that the ninth triangular number squared is the sum of the first nine cubes, a result which holds for all triangular numbers. Let's look at a diagram explaining how it works for the fifth triangular number, which is 15. Now you can see in this diagram there's an arrangement of 225 tiny wee cubes in a big square. Now that square has sides length 15 tiny wee cubes. You can see the one red one, two yellow, three green, four blue and five purple. That's one plus two plus three plus four plus five. That's uh, 15 along each side. And what we've done is similar to the diagram we had previously. And we can fill out squares. There's the one red one. And then the yellow has one square chopped in half. The green, there's the three complete squares. The blue, there's three complete squares plus a fourth one in two halves. And then five purple squares. And you can see how you can physically take these tiny wee cubes and build up the red cube, that's one cubed, the yellow cube, that's two times two times two for that cube, the green cube at the back, three times three times three, and the blue cube at the back, there's four times four times four, and finally the five times five times five purple cube. So 15 squared gives you 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube plus 5 cube. The fifth triangular number squared is the sum of the first five cubes. So back to our statements. And the last statement there, the ninth triangular number squared is the sum of the first nine cubes, generalizes to all triangle numbers and would say the nth triangular number squared is equal to the sum of the first n cubes. And that's a general statement about triangular numbers, which can be proved mathematically. Well, that's Mr. Corsi signing out, and I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have a peaceful and happy 2025. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. <laughs>